Hey everyone, my name is Taryn Lukwin from Paradise Rivers Tanning Spray Tan Academy. You can go to our website at www.spraytanacademy.com. We have tanning supplies, equipment, solution, you name it, we have it. We've also been around since 2005 and we have trained people from all over the world. Spain, Canada, you name it, we've done it. What I'd like to talk to you about is the Aura Allure machine, which comes with this gun. Now, when you order your Aura Allure machine, you will be receiving a box, which looks like this. In that box, I'm not gonna open it because it is one of the boxes we have in stock, but in that box, you will have your Aura Allure machine, your hose, your spray tan gun, and you also have two more of these cups with lids on them, and you also have an extra little baggie for with extra parts. Now those parts contain gaskets. Um, they also contain. Let me go ahead and take this off. In the parts bag, you will see a gasket in there. You will see a spout where the solution gets sucked up into. You will also see the, uh, you'll have a little um, pouch that's a silicone. So if that silicone is actually to go ahead and put on your gun needle not you don't have to do it now you don't have to do it later but you know when you've done spray tanning for a while with this gun you know eventually it comes time where you're gonna have to want to lubricate it a little bit but that is what you will be seeing in your box now one thing that Oops. One thing I want to talk to you, show you about the RLR gun, because many, many spray tanners tend to forget this, but remember that with any machine, you always want to clean out the filter. To clean out the filter in the RLR machine, the filter is right here. So you want to go ahead and just pop that off. Take that out. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this under warm running water. You're going to see a lot of solution coming out when it runs, when the water runs clear and you see no more solution just pouring down the drain. Then you can get this and squeeze it to dry it or you can go ahead and put it between a towel and dry it that way. And then put it back there and close it up and you're good to go. Make sure though when you close the lid to put it in the grooves because there's actually grooves in the filter part. So you want to go ahead and set that in the grooves there. And mine's not going through. Great. Ah, there we go. Okay. Another thing you want to do. So that is how to clean your filter from your Aura Alert spray tanning system. Your hose. You can take your hose out of the bag and you have two ends of it. You have a wide end and a narrow end. Now, this narrow end is going to go in this groove right here, hole right there. Just go ahead and stick it in there and twist to tighten it up and it won't come out. And then with this end, you can go ahead and put it on your gun. Just go ahead and put it on your gun and twist to close it and tighten it up and you're good to go. Okay. 
What I do is, I usually, after I'm done spray tanning, I get Velcro to wrap up my hose so it's not all over the place or getting stuck in anywhere. Now, to clean your gun out, go ahead and take the cup out. Now, this is very important to know when cleaning your gun. There's three parts to take off for the nozzle. And you have this part, that part, and you have this part. So you're going to take these apart, take them off, and rinse them. Now I'd say clean your gun. Depends on how busy you are with spray tanning, if you're very, very busy. Then go ahead and clean it at the end of the night. But clean those off and then to clean your gasket, which you don't need to clean your gasket often. But get this. And what you're going to do is it may be difficult to take this apart. So you're going to pull and twist. When you pull and twist, it's going to be, you're going to, you're going to have to tug it. Don't think that you're going to break it because, well, I mean, unless you're, you know, bending it, then yes, you will break it. But just pull and twist, and this will come off. Now get your gasket and just pop it. There you go. And go ahead and clean your gasket, and then you can reuse it again. Also, what I do is I actually... I get the warm running water and I'll go ahead and just let it run in that hole there and so the water will be coming out this way. And I do that until the water is clear or there's no stain solution that's coming out brown. You could also submerge this in warm water and Dawn dish soap. That will go ahead and clean out anything near the gun area, the needle part. Now when putting the back your gasket, you're going to have this your spout like that and just go ahead and set it through and press. There you go. And then go ahead and just put it back in the hole. Make sure it's tight in there so you got to pop that in and then press it. Press the gasket in there into the little grooves, and there you go. Okay, now putting back the parts of the nozzle. This is very important to learn, actually to know. When putting back these parts, you're going to press back on the trigger and keep your finger on that trigger, holding it back at all times until you're done putting back all the parts. So you can get this one first, find it, stick it in the groove, and press. See how there's a little groove there? So now I'm going to press, and now there is no groove there. At the same time, my finger is on that trigger, holding it back, and you're going to put the next part in. And then you're going to put this part in. Now, when you let, now you can go ahead and after you're done putting the nozzle back, it's tight. Now you can go ahead and let your finger go on the trigger, and your trigger's gonna feel like it's broken, which it's not. Now, as far as settings go, I have my knob right here. So this knob actually opens up or it closes the amount of spray coming out. I have mine in the middle at all times. I never mess with it. I just leave it there. This, on the other hand, you can move this. Right now it's tight. It's closed. So obviously nothing's coming out. Now, when I go ahead and turn my nozzle to the right, I'm going to do it a little bit. This trigger is going to get a little on the tight side. There we go. Now, trigger's not 
as flimsy anymore. Now it feels like it's good to go. Now with this nozzle here, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it back. With this nozzle here, what I did was, I got a nail polish color. Me, I got white. You can get a light color of choice that you want. Just make sure it's light so you can see your settings. And so what I did was, I closed my nozzle all the way. So I went ahead and painted this groove right here in the middle as my starting point. As you know, my the gun, the nozzle is tight, it's closed, no spray is coming out. So this is my starting point where this groove is at. Now to mark the settings, to set my settings where I want them to be, I go ahead and turn the nozzle to the right once. One full turn, and in that full turn, my groove, my painted groove, is going to be in the middle again, right there. That is where I have my settings. And that is where I have, I want my spray to flow the way it does. Now, if I turn my nozzle to the right another turn, that's gonna open up the spray flow even more, which I don't want because I don't want spray tans to be oversaturated or to look dripping wet. I don't want any of that. So I just turn my nozzle one full turn and it ends up in the groove and right in the middle. Now when I spray tan clients, I don't press all the way on the trigger when I'm tanning them. I press halfway on the trigger, about just like that. I don't press all the way, all the way back. There's no need to. When I press halfway, my spray comes out so nice and fine. I give flawless tans every time, unless client decides to mess it up later. Okay, so that's the trick for you for the RO Alert gun. As you know, that no matter what spray tan gun you have, cups are going to leak. Reason being is because we are unscrewing them, putting solution in them, screwing them back up, unscrewing them. There's just a lot of unscrewing and screwing with these cups. So what I do is, I get white plumber's tape. So what I do is I get the white plumber's tape and you can get this at Home Depot in a pack of five or you could just get one if you need. It's more cost efficient if you get the pack of five. But I wrap it around the outer part, of course. I wrap it around the grooves. So I start from the bottom right here and I wrap it around and I make myself my way up to the top at least right there. You can wrap it around one or one and a half. Don't wrap it around no more than two, otherwise then your cup will not screw back on. But doing that will prevent your cup from leaking. After a few uses, you can see the plumber's tape on the rim of your cup turn brown. It was white, but now it's brown, which is normal. So you don't need to change it as often, but I would change it once you see that may, you, may, you might see solution come pouring down the cup. Once you see that, then that's gonna tell you, okay, maybe it's time to go ahead and change the plumber's tape. Reason being is because, like I say, a lot of unscrewing, a lot of screwing the lid and unscrewing it, there's even wear on tear on the tape too. It thins it out. So that is another trick for you, for your RL Lure gun. Most likely you won't have to do plumber's tape on the rim of your cup when your machine and gun is brand new, but eventually, you know, down the road, you may see your gun start to leak and it may leak right here near the cup part area. When that does happen, then that's when you go on to go ahead and do the plumber's tape. And so now you have it. You have your RL or gun, you have your gun settings, and you have a few tips and tricks on how to spray. Don't pull all the way back, pull halfway. 
and how to prevent leaks on your cup. If you guys have any questions about the RL Alert, please leave your questions below in the comments and I will go ahead and answer them. Um, I absolutely love the RL Alert spray tanning machine. I love the way it sprays. I love the fact that it's light. I mean, a lot of people, you know, tend to bash plastic guns, but fact is, this is my favorite gun. I've always had plastic guns because I am mobile only and I have a high volume of clients. Therefore, with the metal gun, my arm would be very tired, where with this gun, I can keep going and going and going. Another thing about this gun is it is great for tanning for fitness shows. At fitness shows, as you know, you have a high volume of competitors to tan, so you're tanning one after another after another. This gun is very durable, reliable. I never had an issue with it, except, like I said, the cup part, but that's normal in pretty much every gun after many uses. But also with the RL Alert, it's very, it's easy maintenance. It's light, it's light, looks professional, it's very easy maintenance. I mean, it's very affordable, can't go wrong. The RL Allure spray tanning system is definitely a game changer for me. I love the way it sprays. The, ov the overspray on this is little to none. And that's gonna depend on your gun settings, of course, which is why I have my gun settings the way I have them now. So if you have any questions about the RL Air machine, please let me know and I will be happy to answer. Also, if you haven't hopped on to our private Facebook forum group, Spray Tan Experts, Educating the Right Way, please go ahead and do so. Love to have you there. We are a positive vibe group. We are there to support you, to teach everybody the proper way how to spray tan and to learn new tricks and tips. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do that as well. Spray Tan Academy on Instagram. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Until next time. Bye.